Just kidding. I've been awake. Let's do this. Today is January 5th. Okay. I believe. Lose the track of time. It is uh, just after 4 a.m. And uh, I just got my weigh in. Cut has been all over the place. So the first day after my cut, I actually weighed in um, a whole pound. There we go. First day after my cut, I actually weighed in one pound heavier. And uh, most people would freak out, but you know, stay consistent if you know what you're doing, if you understand how this works. And uh, it's gonna take a little while. You just gotta find a balance to start it off. So I wasn't worried. The next day I actually dropped four pounds. The problem was, was that I have been sick the last three, four days. And I think that I'm getting over it now almost completely. Things are balancing back out. I'm gonna show you my calories macros throughout the day today. And that's it for now. What I do in the morning, just check some client uh, messages. Actually, no, because nobody's awake. I'm gonna go eat real quick. I'll show you what that is. Things have changed up a little bit. And I'm also going to prepare my meal for work because I got work right now. So let's do it. two classes I got oatmeal that I prepared earlier and I also got a protein shake that I'm gonna have um, I always have this after work so I'm gonna go ahead and put the macros on the screen now and also gonna show you the macros I'm trying to hit when I get home after this now it looks like there's a change of plans I'm supposed to do legs at the gym today but my boy Timic who you already know if you've been following me of course He's hitting legs tomorrow. We always try to keep our schedules lined up. So I'm gonna be doing abs and cardio today because that was actually what's scheduled. I'll explain more when I get home in terms of the calories I'm trying to hit and all that. And I gotta get a haircut, I gotta do some more work. So follow along, let's do this. I'll see you at home. All right, I'm back home. Oh man, I'm pretty damn tired. Um, all right, so I mentioned the change of plans. I'm gonna go and actually hit the gym now. I've got just about an hour before I gotta head on over to get my haircut, just over an hour. So that'll give me enough time to go hit this cardio and this kind of switches things a little bit. So let me explain what I mean. First up, my calories and macros here. So I currently have 2,369 calories left to hit. I have meals prepared. And this is key, okay? If you're gonna be on a cut, if you're looking to lose weight, even if you're not looking to lose weight, you're looking to gain weight, you wanna stay uh, healthier, micronutrient dense foods for the most part. So, let me show you what I mean. Not only do I have meals out here prepped for days, but I actually have these little stickers written on of the exact weigh-ins. This is just a chicken breast, gotta add the rice. The exact weigh ins of the chicken breast. I got tilapia over there. You know, you wanna get in shape, but you don't wanna do shit like that. You know what I mean? You gotta do it, all right? If you wanna get ripped. If you wanna lose weight, I recommend just portion control for the most part will uh, take care of things, okay? That's a good way to start. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go hit cardio, and since it's a cardio and ab day, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of that workout. I'm gonna have a full workout video on my ab routine and uh, also a stretching routine that I'm gonna start for this cut. Just kind of walking around here as uh, I'm probably gonna pop a caffeine pill. I'm just gonna message. Uh, a little word on fat burners, okay? Everybody likes taking fat burners for the cut and have I done it? Of course I have. I've fucking taken everything under the sun. So as I was saying, fat burners are not necessary and to be honest, they're not gonna help that much. But what it does have is 
caffeine in it, okay? Now this caffeine pill, I buy for eight bucks and I get 100 tabs. Caffeine is the main ingredient in a fat burner as it is in a pre-workout. Now why is it in a fat burner? That's because caffeine elevates your heart rate. If your heart rate is elevated, you're burning more calories, okay? Now, I'm not saying take caffeine and just hold your heart rate up the whole day. Obviously, that's strenuous on the body, it's not healthy. But if I'm gonna hit cardio, I'm already elevating my heart rate. This is gonna keep it up uh, just a little bit longer and throughout the day as well. And it's gonna get me to a higher heart rate, more energy for the cardio so I can burn more. Okay, and that's why it helps. Fat burners, in my opinion, I'd stay away from them. Just because they cost a lot, you can get that for eight bucks, okay? Now, obviously I recommend that you check with your doctor and all that shit before taking subs. Just liability purposes, you know what I'm saying? So, here we go, I'm gonna pop this. All right, all right, so I literally just got home. Starting my car up because I gotta leave immediately. I was able to grab two of those Chewy bars you've seen in my grocery haul video. By the way, if you haven't seen that, check that out up there. And uh, I'm gonna head over to a haircut, all right? So I'm gonna hold this angle. This is what my hair's looking like now. I know, not fresh at all, right? So I'm gonna go get a haircut and drive back and that's gonna be the next clip. Let's see the, the difference in the hair. We see it, we see it. All right, hair is freshened up. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but fresh Fridays. Next, I'm back home and I finally have time to chill and eat just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see what I got for my next meal, gains. my next meal and I can bet you can guess what this is yes it's the chicken and rice but don't worry this isn't gonna be the meal I'm gonna have the rest of the day obviously I'm gonna be switching it up and let me just check something real quick so with the 400 calories of cardio that I did earlier I've got a total of 26 2769 I'm gonna input this now and you're gonna see I, I'm probably gonna have around 2,000 calories left to eat another meal all prepped up for me that I'm gonna eat after and uh, after that, basically it's free game. I can fill in the calories with whatever I want. So, let me heat this up, let's see, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. So, I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for this meal right here. Bam, foods are still good. They taste good. There's no need to just starve yourself or suffer for any reason while you're cutting, all right? My lifestyle is the exact same. Just slightly controlling calories makes the world of a difference, as you'll see throughout my transformation. Right now, since I'm home, it's 12.10. I've got some free time, which is rare, but it is a Friday, which is one of my more relaxing days. I'm gonna go ahead and read. I'm currently reading this book right here called Outwitting the Devil. So I'm gonna go on and read for about 45 minutes. I like to do that for about 45 minutes a day. And I meditate after that. And then that's gonna help me in a more positive mindset, uh, you know, be happier throughout the day, which leads to more productivity and a more satisfying life. At least I've found through the practice of meditating. I've got work to do for clients. You gotta work on my website page. And I've got calls I gotta make, all that kind of stuff. So uh, next up, I'm gonna and Last but not least, you know, before I finally eat this meal, I've got two things of fish oil and uh, multivitamin. Now this is the multivitamin that I'm taking currently, OptiMen. Now if you wanna know more about multivitamins, just click right up here, cause I got a video explaining whether or not you should or shouldn't take them. Chester, you bud, come. Wow, the one time he listens. So I uh, just got done reading, meditating, all that stuff. Um, I actually fell asleep, took a little nap for about 20 minutes. Sometimes happens on days like today where I got uh, very little sleep the night before. I got up and I did some stuff for clients, spoke with an employer of mine, 
And yes, I'm not entirely self-employed, but uh, I'm technically a contractor, so in a way, I guess I am self-employed. Uh, I'm on to my next meal, and this one is slightly different than what you're used to, that's for sure, and what I'm used to. So this is what it looks like. We've got uh, 242 grams of tilapia under there, and we've got 230 grams of white potatoes and uh, about a half cup of veggies. If truly a nuclear war is going to happen, do you really think your money matters? Come on. We're not going to exist. So you got to act as if there's a nuclear war going to take place. Calories I have left for the day are 12.99, and my macros are 170 protein so far, 457 carbs, 39 fats. So, is two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm gonna go ahead and put the macros on the screen. And <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the macros on the screen. And as you see, eating foods that I enjoy, why not? I head over to my friend's house. I might take you along with me. I'll use my iPhone to record for that as opposed to this camera. Yes, this is not the last clip. We'll see what's coming next. When we finish the day off, I'll give you the whole total of the macros and all that stuff. This time, I'm like, I'm I know, he's had so many close ones too. Oh, he's gonna get it into number nine though. That's why. Oh, yeah, that's why. Number nine. Old Bill, yo. That's why. Watch your back. The 24 oh, wasn't working what? for Watch your back. <laughs> oh yeah, boys. Okay, back home. It is just before 10 p.m. My bedtime's early. All right, I gotta wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Check out, I couldn't wait, I couldn't. This is what I'm finishing the night off with. I already had three of those cookies. I'm also gonna have a cup and a half of milk. This is my final macros for the day right here. As you see, Kid killed it. Protein was a little low, but I still got around a gram per pound of body weight. Carbs were over 630, but you know what? That's fine, because I got leg day tomorrow. Fats were pretty high too, but hey, still stayed under the calories, still gonna move forward towards my goal. It's only the beginning of the cut, so still have some leeway. Uh, when you first start cutting, when you first start a diet, you have a little bit more leeway as you're gonna start losing fat uh, and weight quicker off the start. As you start weaning down, things get a little harder, so keep that in mind. I want to apologize. Today wasn't a very exciting day. I uh, still have been a little under the weather, so I may not have appeared with uh, as much enthusiasm or creativity. And for that, I apologize. The next episode will be better. Physique update coming soon. Uh, I've got tons of other videos that are in the works coming up soon. So go ahead and sub. If you haven't already, follow along with the journey. Thanks for watching so much. Comment below what you thought of the video if you liked it any questions or anything, and I'll be sure to reply to you. Follow my Instagram my Facebook. Let's do this. Let's get shredded. More to come. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.